Thank you for joining us today. We're going to talk about three-phase electricity and plugs and SO cord and so on, etc. Uh, again, the uh, reason for this is that quite a bit of your electrical stuff that you have that's in three-phase, and not everybody's got three-phase. And then there's several kinds of three-phase, so we'll cover that briefly. And again, if you have any questions, get a hold of us. I'll be glad to take and discuss it in detail uh, to the best of my knowledge and help however I can. So I'm showing you two kinds of um, three-phase plugs, 50 amp and 30 amp, and so consequently uh, these will work with both, excuse the expression, Y, Y delta and delta, uh, Y being 300 and, well it's called 110, 208, so it'll be 310 legs that constitute the three phases. Uh, y delta is 2, uh, 1, 120, because it's called 120, 240. Two 120 legs and a 240 leg. Um, there's quite a few shops have that. And then there's the uh, delta, which is 240, 240, 240. And there's up from there. It goes up to 600 and volts and so on, etc. But we normally are not going to come in contact with that higher voltage in a, in a smaller shop. Bigger shop's going to be 480, 460, 480, so that's not anything serious there. Uh, again, uh, what does make it serious, though, from an honest, honest point of view, is that higher voltage, higher amperage um, become life-threatening. So you need to be real, real careful. And if you're not competent at it, um, avoid it. Hire people that are, are technically capable of doing it. So I want to look at uh, first the 30-amp uh, circuits here. They are, uh, and we use um, Hubble because Hubble is a high-end product and works real, real well and works out that. Uh, so. And, uh, and that we have, if we look at the back side of the connectors here, you've got the uh, ground and then X, Y, and Z. Uh, you'd have your, in three phase, you'd have your, your green ground, and then you'd have usually black, white, and red. And then uh, the X would be, a lot of times they use for that for black, and then Y for, uh, and then y for white, and then Z for red. So that Z being, quote, unquote, the wild leg. And so consequently, Putting that that way, and our shop we run Y wiring, so it's 110, 208. Uh, we've got several of the shops we help out with stuff, and, and they are Y delta. Now, the true delta stuff we don't get involved in because you've got a lot of transformer issues and, and stuff's uh, wired pretty heavily. And larger equipment, some really nice equipment that is out of our budget, so people would have that professionally done. So. This gives you kind of an idea that, that of the stuff you would do in, in a smaller shop and stuff like that. So the cord we use is called SO cord. Now SO is, I don't know, just a, a, a number of a cord that they use. Um, and so it's a heavy jacketed cord. Here's some SO cord here. Uh, this is a number six. No, this is number eight, rather. This is a number eight cord. And that happens to be a three-phase female 50-amp connection on that end. So. We have Miller equipment here in the shop, and, and as a Miller shop, we have our equipment is newer, and it's all auto voltage select. So basically, when you plug it in, if you're wired halfway decent, plug it in, it'll accept 220 single up to 480 uh, three-phase. Now again, we don't do three-phase at 480, so we're here at uh, 110, 208, so it works real well at that, so it auto senses what's going on and the welders work really, really well. So, uh, X, Y, and Z, green, red, night. If you have questions about it, again, YouTube, Google, there's a lot of information about how to wire three-phase if you have any questions. Again, we buy our stuff at uh, Graybar because it's, it's uh, Hubble, and Hubble's really high-end and holds up really, really well. So, this is our three, this, uh, this is our, our uh, Three phase and in, in the single. You notice it's got the funky little ends on it here. Now we'll also uh, show a picture of the chart that kind of gives you an idea of the different ends and the different NEMA classifications of it and how it works. So if you get everything lined up, it goes in and then twist locks and then and, and that's how that fits together as an extension cord. Now we've got three pieces of equipment in our shop that are three phase, and one of them is a tube bender. And since we don't use it all the time and it's portable to move around the shop, we use extension cords to connect to it. Also, too, we have a 
eight inch belt sander that's three phase and again it's portable and movable so we use uh, extension cords on it again the three phase 30 amp extension cords we also have a turn head milling machine as well as a 20 inch throat uh, bandsaw that uses the again the 30 amp uh, units like this and again connected with that, that because of just the convenience of, of uh, accessibility so that's the 30 amp side now we're going to talk about 50 amp the pretty ugly uh, connection I mean it's big it's ornery and uh, and that this has to be a leviton uh, not real bad but we we kind of like prefer having the uh, Hubble uh, just because it's a, a little better uh, we had to buy this one day when we were, we're short of uh, people didn't have it uh, the pro product in stock so we ended up buying the uh, the, the left on because we had to have it immediately uh, we also found out gray bar was out for a computer glitch uh, so but they fixed that so now they have it in inventory all the time so that again the same concept of wiring uh, ground X Y and Z now in here, notice that the ground strap is down in here on that, and if you look at here, you'll see the ground strap that matches up to that too. So, 50 amp locking connection. Now again, none of the connections I've showed you are watertight. They do have watertight ones. Um, just we don't need to be watertight, so we don't have to worry about that that side of it. So, when you get into twist lock stuff, the uh, the uh, twist lock. 50 amp well anyway the 50 amp twist lock uh, go, goes together this is a 50 amp 250 volt 600 volt and this is a same thing 50 amp 200 250 volt so anyway the uh, connections are pretty straightforward it's these are pretty hard to put on so you got to you know, I don't like that. It's not not that easy. So three phase electricity. Again, uh, you have your three kinds: Y, Y delta, and delta. Again, we'll we'll we live in a world of Y and Y delta. Uh, this particular adapter, we need a short cord because of the Miller equipment. We need to plug into a single amp when we go out on on site once in a while for a project, and so we have a single phase here or 220 volt single phase. You can call it two phase if you want. And we have our three phase, the Miller Bean Auto Voltage Sensing allows us to take and plug in into this, plug into that. It drops the wild leg, and therefore everything works correctly. So that's uh, how we cheat and get by with with the short cords and 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 make adapters to so the welders will work and we can get the job done. The idea of having a large enough generator that would power three phase and and generate that would be um, quite expensive and we don't use it enough to justify that kind of a capital investment. So three phase again a little more dangerous than single phase be prepared have protective equipment don't be afraid to take and buy yourself some protective gloves and also make sure that you have insulated screwdrivers again we get ours at uh, Gray Bar and and the uh, different tools you have uh, we even have the square drive one that is for the larger connectors on the uh, circuit breakers and stuff to tighten them and torque them down correctly so that's kind of a, a it in a nutshell again if you have any questions or need some help with it be sure and give us a call or check in with us or email us uh, thank you very much and have a great day.